You're watching Telecom TV from SDN NFE World Congress in The Hague. And joining me now is Ulf Jonsson, who is Portfolio Strategy NFEI with Ericsson. Ulf, good to see you on Telecom TV. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, we're going to be talking about Edge NFEI. We know Network Function Virtualization Infrastructure NFEI, but what exactly is Edge NFEI? Yes, so Edge NFEI, it's uh, basically a compact and powerful solution optimized for distributing the telecom applications out in the operator network. It's also a solution that enables new edge computing use cases. So can you give us some examples of, of these services that require edge computing capabilities within the CSP network? Yes, I think, I mean, especially now as we, I mean, really 5 years just around the corner. And then with 5G, this will enable use cases beyond mobile broadband into the enterprise, Internet of Things, media, fixed wireless, and a lot of other use cases. And this will actually require the distribution of many of the telecom applications into the edge of networker. To mention one specific uh, telecom application is the distributed user plane of the packet core. This is a must and a necessity in order to be able to connect the mobile subscribers to the new edge computing use cases and services. And just to mention a few of these edge computing services then. So, first of all, I think, I mean, this will enable completely new services, probably far beyond our imagination. But if you look at some near-term service that's about to come, and we see kind of augmented uh, reality and augmented um, reality assist gaming coming. Uh, ultra high definition TV with content distribution and then not only distribution from content provider but also end user generated content and kind of content sh shared within an event. We see a lot of uh, use cases also kind of on in the, in the, in the, with the industrial type of use cases. So, you know, robotics, uh, you can say uh, different kind of automated uh, guided vehicles in the factories and, and, and so forth. So a huge set of different uh, use cases. So given all those use cases, why do service providers need to have a, a clear edge strategy? Yeah, so I, I would say that it's mainly two, two reasons. So one, as I talked about, I mean, they constantly need to optimize and modernize their telco infrastructure to enable the new 5G and 4G use cases, but also to optimize that infrastructure and make the whole infrastructure more agile and uh, improve their TCO. And basically, the NFE technologies and cloud infrastructure technologies is an enabler of this. Uh, the other part is that probably the new services enabled by edge computing is one of, if not the way for operators to be able to grow their business in the future. And what would you say are the important considerations for edge deployments and, and what makes edge NFVI suitable for this? So if you think about mo moving now a lot of these functions into the edge and the services, we talk now hundreds or maybe thousands or ten thousands of sites. So imagine, first of all, it needs to be extremely easy to deploy these uh, solutions. It must be very easy to manage and orchestrate both the infrastructure as well as uh, the applications running on this from a central single pane of glass management. Moreover, if you look at these sites, they typically placed on kind of fairly harsh environments, you know, can be very little space. Uh, it's also harsh environments when it comes to temperature, humidity, vibrations and so forth. So you need to really think about how you can build a very compact system that also can handle this kind of uh, this environment. We're starting to hear in the industry at the moment uh, um, more there's more interest in cloud native technologies and adopting these cloud native technologies in our transformation journeys. Wh wh why are we starting to hear this now? Wh wh what, what makes the cloud native important? Yes, so cloud native, so again, 5G. <laughs> so with 5G, 5G is cloud native. The 5G telecom applications will be cloud native 
built on microservices and container. And this means, of course, that we need to now also optimize the cloud infrastructure to support those cloud native applications. So we can see more and more of the ecosystem is centered around this CNCF community, so the cloud native computing foundation community uh, around the Kubernetes. And we are now building this into our solutions and offerings. Excellent. Ulf, thank you very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you very much.